everyone and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Now before we get started, I'd like to let you guys know that this Mass Effect 3 does have a multiplayer option. Uh, however, it is online. It requires you to have um, an account with the Xbox and uh, so you have to have friends on your Xbox, which I do not. <laughs> so I will not be doing any multiplayer gameplay. Anyway. Alright, let's see. We saved the Ragnar Queen. We rescued Caden Alango. Alango? Alaiko. That last name's hard to say. And Vormar. Uh, chose to save the castle, uh, saved Malin's data, uh, kept Rex alive on Vormar, chose to destroy the Geth heretics, destroyed the collector base, uh, survived the suicide missions with all 12 squad mates, uh, romance Ciara before Mass Effect 2, and in Mass Effect 2 we romance Garrus. Actually going to fix this a little bit because the eyebrows are not the right color. They're all gray. They may be the gold. Of course, I've already chosen a uh, frustrator for Mass Effect 1 at 2, so I'm um, 3 it, it is as well. I like to stick with the same class throughout all 3. Um, and of course, there's also bonus powers, because I've played this game quite a few times already. Uh, and then some of these look familiar from Mass Effect 2, like Energy Drain, that's from Mass Effect 2, and so is Reeve. There was also a Mass Effect 2 barrier as well. And now there is actually a few that are actually DLC related. Uh, Slam, Dark Channel, Flare, and Lash. Those are all DLC related. Now Lash is actually a, a nice botic ability. It's kind of like pull in a way, but instead of pulling stuff away from people, it just knocks into the floor. It's a more funny, kind of goal ability. Um, now I know uh, there's lots of good uh, bonus abilities to choose from, uh, but I've already had my eyes set on one. Now this is, and it, it is Flare. No, I don't. Does it make any sense? Because sort of my character is tech and combat, and Flare is a botic ability. But I have found Flare ever most useful and helpful and really good in a pinch. A flare, what it basically does, it attacks buttock barriers uh, and armor and shields all at once. It's like warp and overload in one attack. And because it's so powerful, it has a really big cooldown. It's 12 seconds. But I with that. And that's understandable because it is a powerful attack.
How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Now, I realize that age is not the only factor for gray hair or stress, too. But... It still makes the character look old. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you now. Admiral, you look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers, and we're not ready for them, not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, and what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me, took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Caden? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I suppose I did. So it's... It's good to see you. Admiral. Come on. Do you know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, 
It's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Master. 